Hello, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do a really cool skin tone effect that also applies digital makeup for a well, that separately, but let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is create a new solid color adjustment layer by going clicking this black and white circle icon and choose solid color. And now go all the way to the left, top left, and go a little bit to the right. Just barely, barely, barely. Right there. And press OK. And now change the blending mode of this layer to soft light. And now on that, make sure the layer mask of that layer is selected. And grab your brush tool and paint it with black. Hit X on my keyboard to paint with black instead of white. There. And now make my brush bigger by choosing the right bracket key on the keyboard. Select, unselect the please unselect the blending mode of the layers to so your keyboard shortcuts work. Make my brush bigger by using the right bracket key. And painting with black. Or smaller. Painting with black, just paint over the eyes. That's so. And paint over the lips. Make a brush smaller. Paint over this one. And make a brush very, very, very small. And just paint over the natural. And now there's your skin tone. And or oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, um, on when I painted black over all this stuff, I was painting with the opacity of fifty. I forgot to tell you that part. And now there's your skin tone and now we'll start adding the digital makeup. We're going to name the color fill one layer by double clicking on the name. We'll call it Skin Tone. And press Enter. And now create another adjustment layer and choose Curves. Drag this in so you can see it. And change your channel to red. Bump up to red a little bit. Go to green, drop the green to add magenta, and go to blue and drag up to add blue. Press OK. And now control I on your keyboard, command I on a Mac, and bump up my opacity of the brush to 100. Painting with white, choose X to switch those. Make a brush bigger by the right bracket key. Or actually, don't change the opacity the brush to 100, change it to 75, or a little lower, Let's try 65, and paint it with white, and use a brush, an airbrush, soft round 100, brush bigger, just make it the size of the cheek, roughly, or make it a little bigger, and click once, and now I'm going to make my brush smaller, click once, and as you can see, I just clicked with the, so the right of the brush was on the cheek. Now I'm going to hit X, so I'm painting with black, and just paint over, or on the overspray, where I got the overspray. And now name this blush, press enter, and create another new curves layer. Go to red, bump up red green, drop the green to magenta, and go to blue, and bump up blue. Press OK, control I, then I'll zoom in on the lips, and painting with white, the brush smaller, painting with white on the curves one, painting with white over the lips to add paint on lipstick.
And now let's zoom back out. And then double click on Curse One, the name of that, and call it Lipstick. And select lip the lipstick layer and shift click on the skin tone layer and you press control G command G on a Mac double click on group one and we'll call this we'll call it skin tone and makeup press enter and say turn the visibly off and on of skin tone and makeup see the before and after and say it's a little much for you. Change the opacity of this layer, just the overall group. Keep it down. Gonna use 91. Somewhere else. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you'll use it a lot. And I will see you next time.